You're supposed to be sitting there holding these two thoughts in your head and one that these are kids and the other that they're hot. Well, I've done it. I've found a review on YouTube of someone not only defending the movie Cuties, but also explaining why it gives them a boner. I wish I was joking, but I'm not, and neither is the guy who made that review. But I have to say, what really frightens me is that he's not alone. Does this image piss you off? Good. That's the point. The image is supposed to make you uncomfortable. You really need to watch the entire context of the movie in order to understand what is happening. Yeah, it seems people are becoming a little too comfortable of children dancing around in sexual ways. But a Mr. Girl is different. Which, first off, what grown fucking man names themselves Mr. Girl? Like, this is part of the reason why I think he's a little kid diddler. And second of all, the reason why I think he's different from the other reviewers defending this movie is that he's not just defending the movie. He's also going out of his way to let everyone know on YouTube that this film helped him pop a boner. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Hi, cuties. And I'm already getting pedo vibes. Hi, cuties. I'd like to remind you guys that over 900 mini lads have liked this video, but over 44,000 rational people have disliked it. I mean, at that point, you should realize that you were definitely in the wrong, and you should abort that fucking abomination of a video. Because to be honest, this is only opening the door for other subway speakers. Now, it's a solid film. It's a good movie. Um... Definitely better than most movies. What other movies are you talking about? Like 2020 films? Even with the shit coming out this year, I would still say Cuties is the worst. At least 365 days used adult actors for their sexual scenes. And now I will say that the B-plot of Cuties is actually well written. If the film was about the mother and the daughter and their relationship, and the movie cuts out all the scenes including children being sexualized, then I can see where you're coming from. Unfortunately, those scenes completely buttfuck any message they had, because I've never been in so much pain watching a movie before. And I get there's movies out there trying to make you uncomfortable, and you know, I like stuff like A Clockwork Orange. That film tries to make you uncomfortable and it succeeds, but the difference between that movie and this one is that that shit is fake. Cuties, on the other hand, has real children dancing around sexually. They're participating in something they're going against. Even if you're not like this weirdo who wanks to 11 year olds but you still defend the movie, you do realize that the message of a film loses all meaning when the movie participates in the act of what they're trying to demonize. These aren't adult actors that look young, these are real children. Uh, right off the bat, just first impressions uh, regarding the controversy. This film does try to make you sexually aroused by 11 year olds and uh i'll i'll say it's not bad at it yeah that snuff film i was watching on the dark web kind of piss poor acting didn't like it that much oh no but cuties yeah that, that movie gave me courage to ask out that cute preschooler down the road it's not a total failure in that regard at least for me uh your mileage may vary well, I'm not into fetuses, so I doubt my mileage even exists in this situation. You know, because I'm not a diddling kid toucher. Um, I want to say that if you are uh, concerned about people treating this as child pornography, there are probably thousands of people masturbating to this film as we speak. Yeah, that's uh, kind of why we don't like this movie. But the negative effects this movie has caused doesn't even balance out. So for us normal people, we're supposed to learn that sexualizing children is bad. Well, I already kind of knew that. And for pedos, it's jerk-off material. Because I highly doubt this film's purpose of trying to convince them that their quote-unquote sexual preference is disgusting. But, uh, yeah, as far as, like, sexy music videos go, um, it's not bad. What the fuck? So we have a grown ass man here admitting that little children dancing in a sexual way wasn't wasn't too bad. Decent actually. Susan again, I'm not trying to be a snitch, but how the hell is this allowed on your platform? Like I get it, I say bad words like poo poo and butthead, but I feel like this is the real threat here. Are we live? Is this live? Oh trigger warning. Uh honesty. You know, he may be a pedo, but um, Oh, wait, he's not funny either. I think that the the film is um, kind of roping you into the discussion of the sexualization of children by sexualizing children 
and by making you complicit in that. That's bullshit. That's equivalent of me making a documentary about how rape is bad. And then I actually go out and try to rape people. Like, who is this for? Oh, that rapist who made that documentary saying rape is bad? Well, he's got a point, you know? After seeing actual rape happening, I think rape is bad now. I get it. Visuals are more impactful. But at the same time, it's not a necessity. In fact, in this situation, it's counterproductive. Go find me those pedophiles who saw this movie and they're like, oh, well, this movie really taught me not to touch children anymore. I'm gonna stick to animals. So let's put the morality of that aside and just just take her art at, at, you know at face value. Um, it's pretty interesting to be forced to do something. It's kind of like The Last of Us too. It's a great game. Nah. And um, it is it's real. It's very realistic. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the app TikTok. There's some pretty interesting stuff on there that, uh, you know, I've checked out and uh, I recommend you check it out. Uh, girls uh, of all ages are dancing like, and guys are dancing like this. Dances have become more explicitly sexual. Um, but then, you know, I listen to everybody saying these things and I think we just sound the same as like old fogies did in the 50s and 60s. Well, the difference is children can't consent. If you want to go around and dance like a skank, go for it. I don't care, but leave the babies out of it, please. It's not some cracker boomer ideology to think that children shouldn't be dancing around in a very slutty way. It just shows you're a sane person. Well, you have a problem with this fetus dancing in a sexual way? Well, okay, boomer. Fuck off, it's not the same thing. It's not even close. And by the way, yes, I have a problem with little girls dancing like that on TikTok. And not only is it disgusting, but children aren't aware when they're behaving like that the only indicate so there's a scene where they're dancing on stage and there are these judges that are like frowning or in and like uh just people in the audience that are frowning that's the only indication the film gives that this is odd or that they are overly sexualized okay but that was the fucking point of the movie as badly executed the moral was the message is don't sexualize children and letting kids be kids they even tied this into the traditional islamic family like the main character obviously goes through some identity turmoil and she has to find a balance between two of her lives and this fucking pisses me off because this is actually really good writing and unfortunately they had to include scenes of children twerking and you know, rubbing each other and shit. So all that potential is just thrown out the window. And it seems Mr. Touchy here is just making excuses like, oh yeah, they had one scene where they said child diddling is bad. But the rest of the movie shows that my weird fetish is good, so I guess I can still do it. And again, to be fair, bad execution, but he completely missed the point. How, how do we, children are horny. Little girls are horny and they want to express that. And, um, we aren't sure how to handle that kind of graceless transition from being nine to being 13 or 14 or 16. Yeah, that's smart. Have children make big decisions like that for themselves. Hey, Chester the molester, you can hang out with my daughter. I don't care. You know, she wants to, so I guess I should just let her do it. I don't care if she's 11. Apparently she can make that decision for herself. I really hope you don't have any children. It's all shown. So there are characters who ignore her sexuality, like her father. There's a scene where she tries to strip for her father to get him to give her his phone. Did you actually watch the movie? Scratch that. Did you actually watch a scene from this movie that wasn't a part of Epstein's stash? Because it was clearly stated that that person where she steals the phone from, that's not her dad. That's her cousin. They state this in the movie. In fact, the dad never shows up. That's a big part of the B-plot, but you probably skipped over the actual story to watch Sexy Embryos, oh. This just tells me that he watched it for one reason and one reason only. He didn't care about the characters or the plot or the story. He just wanted his pee-pee wet. The only reason he likes this movie is because it makes his sock even crustier. See um, them shaking their booties on this stairway as they make this, uh, this viral video. And, um... They're pretty hot. And you know, you can say whatever you want about me. You're disgusting. Not my fault. I didn't make them do that. They did that. Uh, that's the point. That's the whole point of the movie, is that you're supposed to be sitting there thinking, look at the blonde one. All right, so for the rest of the video, he kind of just babbles on and uh, makes excuses for his pedophilia. There's really no use in saying much more.